The other questions commonly asked are about credit scores. How does someone's credit score affect their home mortgage? That's a great question, Oleg. I can tell you that the credit score is probably the most important aspect of any loan application. Um, your credit score determines the interest rate that you qualify for. So even if you have an eligible credit score for the loan product that you're applying for, the lower your credit score is, the higher your interest rate's gonna be. So there's something known as um, premium pricing or um, the interest rates don't technically change. What changes with the market is the price of the interest rate. And then there's risk-based pricing based on primarily your credit score. So when you have a lower credit score, let's say you have a 600 credit score and you're applying for an FHA mortgage, which with a 600 credit score, you're perfectly eligible for an FHA loan. However, because that credit score is lower in the lower categories, you're gonna get hit with this premium or this uh, risk-based pricing um, that affects the interest rate that you're offered or costs you additional uh, money in terms of points or fees to obtain the same interest rate as somebody with a higher credit score. Also, especially when you're talking about conventional financing, which is the more traditional financing that um, is available or is, is more readily accepted by um, sellers and seller's agents, you're gonna be looking uh, at a higher credit score requirement. Um, the minimum credit score to require, or the minimum credit score uh, to be eligible for a conventional loan is gonna be 620, but it's very common for our underwriting system to decline your loan if your score is that low on a conventional loan. So not only is it important that you work on your credit score and that your credit score be in the eligible category, but it's also important to know how the credit score, even if you are eligible for the financing, then affects the terms of the loan that you're offered. Clearly, credit scores do have an impact. Do you offer solutions for those who are looking to improve their score? I do, Oleg, also a very good question. Um, so your credit score is determined by a number of factors. The age of the average age of your accounts, um, your, obviously your payment history, if there's any derogatory credit, meaning you've paid on an account more than 30 days beyond its due date. And then the secret that a lot of people don't know is particularly as it pertains to your credit cards and the limit of your card versus the current balance. So again, I mentioned this earlier, but let's say you have a credit card with a $1,000 balance and excuse me, a $1,000 limit and you currently have a $950 balance. You're making the payment on time. There's nothing derogatory about that account, but because you have such a high usage of credit versus the limit on that, it's actually going to pull your credit score down every single month, month after month. Now, the nice thing is that that's just a temporary drop to your score because as soon as you pay that credit card down to where the balance is at or below 30% of the credit limit, your score pops right back up. So that's a lot of what we do when we're examining an application early on in the process. We can give you advice on how to pay down some of your revolving credit card accounts to improve your score quickly. Um, and then of course, obviously don't ever make late payments um, and, and try not to obtain too much new credit before you come apply for a mortgage because that's gonna bring the average age down. Um, you also need to be concerned about inquiries, although not as much as I think some people think. Uh, when you're applying for a mortgage loan, you know, as long as you haven't had a ton of other inquiries um, from other different types of creditors, for example, if you're applying for a credit card and a new car loan and a home mortgage and a retail credit account all at the same time, those inquiries are definitely going to have a negative impact on your credit score. But if you haven't had any other inquiries anytime in the last 90 days and you come to me to pull your credit for a mortgage inquiry, that specifically shouldn't have too much of a negative impact on your credit, if at all. It's good to know there are ways to improve credit score. Thank you. Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Oleg Sedletsky, your Dallas area realtor. 
This video is part of my conversation with local loan originator Rayanne Williams. You can find the link to the full video in the description below.